just to look a little human not like a psychotic little beast that was just released from its cage what's up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another episode of vlogmas i think today is day eight I want to say day 8. I really want to say day 8. On uh, today's video, I thought I'm going to do a little chit chat. It's been a while since I've talked to you guys. And a lot has been happening, well, for me, um, inside my head. <laughs> Not like on the outside or physically or anything, no. A lot, I've been having a lot of little moments, okay, where I just sit down with myself and talk to myself and I'm like, child, there's a lot that we need to change. And we need to get it started like right now okay here's it to y'all the last i'm gonna say three months have been hella i'm gonna say not unproductive because i have been posting and stuff i've been doing the work but i'm productive when it comes to my personal life like my career has been going on nicely like i've been very professional um very productive in the professional center of my life but in the personal child something has been missing okay um i have tried so much to get back on like the healthy life girl life what 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 was that what was that what was that it's like my tongue is trying to leave my mouth anywho i've been trying to get back to like the healthy lifestyle that i used to have you have to wake up at six okay and i'm talking about every single day except weekends okay then i used to like work out every single morning hmm i was i was in it i was in it y'all i was so in it but something happened i don't know what happened it just stopped okay it stopped and i've been trying to get back on it it's not working actually last year i think from september or august y'all i was on the roll and then Christmas came and all that went to shit because it's Christmas. Whoever, okay, who even pays attention to personal stuff when you when it's Christmas, you know? So my diet out the way, workout routine out the out the window, um, and my healthy sleep schedule also out the window. Right now, okay, except like today and yesterday, I have the worst sleeping schedule ever. Like y'all. I've been sleeping at like 3 a.m. in the morning and then I wake up at midday midday. I'm like, what is happening? What is happening? Okay, and when I wake up, I'm tired, I have a headache, I just don't want to do nothing. I'm almost every single day, like on Sunday, y'all remember when I I think that was Vlogmas 5, okay? Six. Vlogmas 6. Y'all, do you see how beat up I was? That I I woke up at like 45 minutes past noon. And I slept at like 3 a.m. in the morning. Or 2 30 somewhere on there that's been my new thing okay last night today is monday okay last night i decided actually you know what the funny part is last night yesterday was vlogmas yesterday is when i, I filmed vlogmas 6 and y'all already watched it like a couple of days ago but the point is yesterday i vowed to myself i'm like girl Okay, why do you always have to go online when it's about when you're going to bed? Like, it's not going nowhere. If the videos are there, they're there. Okay, they've already been posted. They're not going nowhere. So go to freaking bed. So I have this new schedule that I'm kind of want to like, you know, get along with it. Um, like I go to bed like at 11 and then I wake up like at 6.45. But the goal is to be up like at 4.30. Okay, to be up at 4.30, between 4.30 and 5.00. That's like the goal because I next year I'm going back to school. Um, I have work. I have this. I have this. So I cannot be waking up at one p.m. and I cannot I cannot be going to sleep at three a.m. It doesn't make sense. So to build up this habit, I have to do it slowly and slowly and slowly. Basically, this video, okay, even though it's somehow all over the place already, y'all. We're four minutes into the vlog, the video. And I'm already being everywhere, okay? Y'all, you know I don't know how to just talk straight, like, especially when I'm talking about my stuff. I don't know how to, like, talk straight, okay? Y'all have to, like, catch up, okay? The point of this video, I just want to share with you guys healthy habits that I kind of want to start for next year, girl. Like, but they, like this time next year, I'm going to have to have perfected these habits that I'm starting right now. And the first 
thing as fixing my sleeping schedule because child is fucked up. Like. I don't know. See, here's the thing, okay? When I wake up at like 6 a.m. in the morning, which is very rare, but, you know, even when I wake up at like 6.45, I am energetic all through the day. Why? I have no freaking clue. Like, right now, I already have a lot of energy. What time is it? Um, It's 1.21. 11.21, sorry. I do have a lot of energy. This is the second video I'm filming today. I've done a full face, full bit of makeup all before noon okay and this energy is probably gonna go through because after this i want to edit probably this video too and schedule it and all that but if i woke up at like 11 whoo something about the day just i don't want to do nothing i wouldn't even have the productivity first of all then i usually wake up with a headache i'm like i thought sleeping more you know should like fix the tiredness but it doesn't it doesn't i'm more tired when i wake up later than when i wake up early so what's so what does that tell me it tells me i'm supposed to wake up early okay when i go to bed like at 11 because that's like the schedule right now because it's still december it's still the holidays you know a little bit you know a little um you know wiggle room okay the most the intense was gonna start in January when it's a brand new year but when I sleep like at 11 and then I wake up at 6 45 that's basically like how many hours are those 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 and like 6 like what 7 hours and 45 minutes almost eight, 8 hours of sleep and I wake up so refreshed okay this morning I woke up I journaled okay I read and then I watched Jenna Hong's vlogs because why not okay I have that wiggle room made breakfast and took a shower all before 9 30 all that before 9 30 so I don't know that's like the one habit that I really want to get into that's the one thing that I really want to add to my new lifestyle I'm starting I'm developing slowly and slowly and then something else that I actually do really want to include in my day or something like looking presentable yeah i walk i walk around the house in a dera haven't combed my hair in five days if i don't leave the house i don't look good period but i kind of want to like fix that you know maybe put on some earrings some rings you know have like concealer and like powder on you know and my hair properly done just to look a little human not like a psychotic little beast that was just released from its cage that's what i look like most days but i kind of you know when i get into that wear nice clothes you know even if they're loungewear you know cute loungewear that i'm gonna have to shop for because i don't have none that's the kind of stuff that i kind of want to get into because i don't know i feel like when i look good in a day i feel good i'll work more it kind of like it, 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 everything adds up everything adds up like if i wake up and i have a productive morning and i get ready i look good for the day i can accomplish a lot in the day and i'm not gonna feel like i'm depressed but when i wake up late i don't i barely shower probably shower like in the evening i've been walking around without combing my hair and everything i feel depressed for the day and that's kind of what i want to avoid because it's not depressing life is not depressing okay life is hard i can calm my motherfucking hair i'm not in high school anymore i don't in high school whoo i could go a week or two that even come in my hair child i was <laughs> but i kind of want that to change you know like right now do you see i am blinked up i even got this um evil eye ring that i am obsessed with i think it's gonna have to match every single clothes that i wear because it's just gold and black so it's gonna always be on that finger for good luck now something else i kind of really want to get into is morning journaling i know it's so cliche oh journaling oh write what you're grateful for oh da 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 it works majorly i can tell you that because i can be one depressed bitch sometimes but when i wake up like early okay have that self-care moment that me time in the morning whoo i i am telling you i can do a lot in that time um it kind of like really helps me not be mad at every single thing on the planet yes i have like my own issues with being mad at everything but when i wake up 
journal okay write good stuff okay um listen to everything positive in the morning so what did i say i lost i lost i lost my train of thought Whoa, i lost my train of thought what i was talking about right morning journaling it's a good thing like when you do all the positive stuff it kind of like leads to me having a good day rather than waking up angry okay i wake up angry all the time it's a thing okay ever since i remember i've never woken up happy <laughs> i don't know why not a, I, mean, it's, I, I can't say i'm not a morning person given that i wake up in the morning i just don't like a lot of noise or disturbance when i wake up does that make sense that's why i really value waking up way before everybody wakes up or before you know stuff start happening because it's quiet and i can have that moment to reflect journal read watch a bunch of youtube videos because i cannot be perfect like that i kind of like as i journal and stuff i watch my favorite youtubers uh because i don't know i like watching vlogs actually that's why i even make them because i'm like if i enjoy watching them that much it means you know other people are gonna enjoy watching it as well so that's why i make a lot of vlogs they're fun to watch for me they're fun to watch i just like seeing people's lives I'm nosy like that so I really value that time and um, I want to like perfect on that more and talk about the me time in the morning I also want to like incorporate like working out again okay not like for hours and hours child I am not that kind of fitness person <laughs> I'm barely a fitness person but I used to work out like 45 minutes 30 to 45 minutes 45 minutes is when I have all the freaking energy in the world okay i mostly just wake up uh, i mostly just work out for 20 to 30 minutes that's like standard for me um and it's a it's something nice to incorporate because you know it's part of that me time that's why i kind of want to like slowly and slowly push back okay when i when i like adapt to waking up at 6 45 i move to waking up at 6 15 okay when i'm more you know when i'm accustomed to waking up at 6 15 i move to 5 45 okay like that like that like that until i get to 4 30 that's, that's what I've realized I'm gonna do slowly and slowly add one thing at a time to my morning routine I'm not just gonna you know put everything at once because it might not work for various reasons um, if you're trying to do too much at the same time try to add very many new stuff in your routine you're gonna miss it that's what I've come to realize so one by one right now I am working on waking up okay at the same time almost every single day that is what i'm working on next okay i'm working on that and journaling because you know comes hand in hand because if i wake up in the morning what am i really doing just standing there no okay after that i'm gonna add the working out okay after that i'm gonna add this i'm gonna add that just like that like that until i have my perfect morning routine so basically i am going on a journey that nobody else can help me but me it's a journey that i have to take on my own and at my own pace maybe i'm gonna perfect this maybe in like september next year or something and i know every single day is not gonna be the same because of the stuff that i have to do next year is a busy year for me i can already tell before i even got here because of the stuff planned for next year so next year is very busy for me a lot busy for me there's a lot of stuff that i need to do for my youtube um for a company that is starting there's just a lot that's gonna happen next year and having this small little details worked out i think it's gonna make i don't know it's gonna help for a better year i think because child so yeah that is that is it that is it i think that's just what i wanted to say because you know i don't know everybody needs to grow like let me tell you okay i have a theme for next year okay and i'm gonna tell you the theme of next year i don't care about the world theme for next year my theme for next year is growth and win that is all okay growth and winnings it's a year of growth and winnings success, success <laughs> wow well what just happened success and all that basically next year is a year of you know self growth personal growth um business growth all that kind of stuff and after you finish growing you win does that make sense so the first half of the year is growth the second half is winning that's my thing for next year and that's what i'm gonna go with and now i'm even excited 
for a thick year to come because in 2023 we don't have like corona anymore it's not looming over our heads you know in 2022 it was still kind of like a thing there's a moment where it kind of started growing more the virus and stuff so 2023 everything's gonna be clear and i feel like the virus came to end an era i'm sorry to say but people are just too comfortable with their lives that they thought you know what nothing ever gonna happen like it's gonna like destroy me like that but the virus came and like made everyone leveled i get it you cannot compare the rich and the poor during the virus but everybody learned something because i learned something okay everybody learned something from there okay so i cannot feel like it put everyone on the same bar and what you do afterwards is all up to you if you fail or succeed after the virus again all up to you a lot of opportunities a lot of the new world i'm gonna call it that it matched you know like this is the era of technology this is the era of you know you don't have to go to the office to work people freaking zoom call like you don't even need to travel to have a conference zoom okay or any other platform google meet anything so given that the era has ended and the new one is emerging i'm gonna emerge with it this is how new billionaires are gonna be made okay and y'all goals by 30 goals by 30 so i think i'm gonna end this video right here because i don't really have much to say more much y'all i've been talking for like 17 minutes straight but i don't really have any more to say that's basically what i kind of wanted to highlight uh because you know i like sharing stuff with you not everything but a little something something you know maybe you have your own goals you know maybe you learn something from the goals that i'm trying to make for next year um all this is personal from the personal level because you know i'm trying to you know slay for the year basically mm -hmm.